Today we're going to be making chilli in wraps and pita breads with salad. Let me introduce you to the ingredients. So we have Worcester sauce, olive oil, smoked paprika, a beef stock cube, oregano, ground cumin, salt and pepper, defrosted minced garlic, previously frozen, minced beef, a can of kidney beans, a can of black beans, a can of diced tomatoes in juice, red onion chopped, red pepper chopped, and for the wraps we have round conventional wraps and pita breads. For the salad we have our sauce which is satsiki, we have mixed cabbage, red and white, We have lettuce, baby cherry tomatoes, and cucumber ribbons. The first thing we'll need to do is remove the lid, set the crock pot express to brown saute, and press start. At this point we can add our oil. Now the crock pot is coming up to halfway to full temperature so we can begin to add the ingredients. The first ingredient we want to add are the onions. Followed by the red peppers. Now we want to give this a stir to coat all of the mix in the oil. And next, add our salt and pepper. Once the onions and the peppers have had a few minutes to fry, we want to add the garlic. Now the onions and the peppers have had a few minutes to fry, we want to add our mint. This will require regular stirring in order to brown the mix and distribute everything evenly so that it's evenly cooked, ready for the next stage. Now the mince is suitably browned, the onions and the peppers are cooked, we can begin to add the spices. Now we have our first, which is Worcester sauce. Next we want to add our oregano. And give that a quick stir.
We then want to add our cumin. Our smoked paprika. And once again, give it a good stir. We now have a stock cube. Now it depends on what consistency you want, but you can just add a stock cube. I'm going to break this up and sprinkle into the mix. So once we've added our stock cube, we just want to give that a good mix. And next we want to add our tomatoes. giving that a quick stir, our kidney beans, now you can see the kidney beans already have juice within them, that juice will replace the water which would otherwise go with the stock. And the black beans, again there's lots of flavour, lots of juice and lots of texture within that, therefore we want to try and use this instead of plain water. And once again, give everything a good stir. So for the next stage, we want to switch off saute mode. We have our lid. Make sure it's set to closed, not bent. Lock the lid on, and we want to select either beans and chili, as this has a specific mode for beans and chili, which will automatically set it for 18 to 20 minutes, which is the right amount of time to cook the chili. Or alternatively, using manual mode, which is here, we can set the timer for 18 to 20 minutes and the effect will be all the same. So I'm going to select the beans and the chili. And that's already selected 20 minutes. My suggestion would be, if you were to, Select manual and 20 minutes. Now this is also a crock pot express turbo, which means it does have a turbo button. If you were to select the turbo option, the time frame of 20 minutes would reduce down to 12 minutes. However, for all intents and purposes, I'm going to select beans and chili and start. So there are three options essentially with cooking the chili. Um, we have our manual mode, our automatic beans chili mode, and if we wish to, we can override and press the turbo if you have the feature available, which will reduce the time as it will increase the pressure. So the Crock-Pot Express has now come up to pressure and the timer of 20 minutes has begun. Meanwhile, we have the option of using pitters or wraps if you wish to, you can use either or or both, up to you. My suggestion would be, if you are using pitters, to place them in the toaster, and this will allow them to puff up and make filling much, much nicer, much easier. And at the same time, we can put butter in the pitters as they're filled, which will all add to the flavor and the texture. So whilst the chili is cooking away, I'm going to toast the pitters and they should steam inside and begin to puff up. Once they've puffed up, we then want to use either spreadable butter or regular butter and add a small amount of butter into the pitters to add to the consistency and the flavour. So 
we can see now the pitters are steaming inside and they've puffed up. So they're ready to use, they're ready to go. There are two ways we can have pitters. We can either cut them along the length and place the filling in like an envelope or we can cut them in half, like so, and have them like two pockets. Now using the knife, just want to open that up slightly, and there we have a perfect pocket, ready for filling. Also, now the knife's been suitably heated by the pitters, bringing the butter through will be nice and simple. For each pitter. And those pitters are ready to go. So essentially there are two ways to serve the chili. You can have an individual platter, which means everything goes onto one plate for one person. So that includes things like pitters, are quite a good idea um, because they all fit neatly on the plate. You can then neatly pile your salad around the edge and your satsiki in a small bowl. So everything is individually ready to serve to an individual. However, that said, there is also another option, which means you can place chili straight into a big bowl with a ladle and allow everyone to serve themselves. Providing things like tongs. Means that salad can be placed in the center of a table and everyone can help themselves to whatever they wish to enjoy, however they wish to enjoy it. So they can essentially build their own wrap with their own preferred ingredients, and that is another option as well. So the time is completed cooking on the Crock-Pot Express. We now want to leave it for 10 to 15 minutes to naturally pressure release. Now you may be wondering what satsiki actually is, Essentially, it's yogurt, cucumber and mint, and occasionally with dill. It makes for an extremely refreshing condiment, and it's a very, very healthy sauce. This is perfect for chilli, perfect for adding in place of, for example, mayonnaise. Um, this is going to be a much healthier alternative. Not to mention the flavour, with a subtle hint of mint is absolutely fantastic. So we've now reached 15 minutes, natural pressure release, which means we can release the valve. And once the lid unlocks, we can take the lid off and serve. We can now switch off the keep warm function. And now remove the lid. So as you can see, there's plenty of moisture, plenty of juice in there by adding the beans with the juices instead of water or as well as water. I believe it gives it more flavour, more colour and it will add to the nutrition. So let's get to serving. Now we have two ways we can serve this essentially. We have 
all in one or an individual platter dependent on your preference. Now you'll see there's also a lot of juice in here. We can use a slotted spoon, which means that it will sieve through the juice and that will mean that there's a slightly less juicy mixture, which might be easier for using wraps. So this is your slotted spoon. And you can see the juices are separated from the filling. So now it's time for the taste test. Placing this into a warm buttery pitta is absolutely unbelievable. The, the butteriness and all of the flavors going on there, the textures, the crunch from the cabbage, and the hint of mint all combines perfectly. Then have an element of tomato. This is a perfect meal with loads of flavour, an unbelievable amount of nutrition, loads of colour and incredibly easy to make. Now making wraps can generally be a little bit complicated, but after a bit of practice, you tend to get the hang of tucking the underside in to catch anything, should you bite down on it and it falls through. Placing it in a wrap is also spectacular. The amount you can fit in the wrap, you can essentially have much more in one wrap and have many, many more bites all in one go. You also have the softness of the bread, which holds everything together perfectly well and allows all the flavors and all the salads combined perfectly. You can also obviously add more ingredients depending on your preference. So you can add your own salads and you can add your own condiments to further enhance the flavours, if you so choose. Really, really nice, absolutely bursting with flavour, bursting with nutrition, and more than your five a day included in one meal. So I hope you'll enjoy the food as much as I'll enjoy the food, and I hope you enjoy the cooking as much as I've enjoyed cooking it. If you like what you've seen today, please like and subscribe so I can bring the latest videos directly to you. See you in the next one.